like you have the answer and she's like yeah yeah you're still cordy you hand me handle me oh your hands are cold i like it no 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 okay move around a little bit yucca 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 it's just gonna happen it's just gonna okay well if olivia's given up on me then we have no hope Today we're going to talk about inspirations. No, it's okay. Laugh over me. It's all right. We're, everybody's here. We're all here to talk to you. We're here to talk art with you today. We're here to talk about inspiration. Now, we've done so many different videos talking about creativity, a creative block, you know, getting in the mood to art. These are all things that help kind of motivate you to do art, but today's a little different. Today's more about things that you might, I don't know, surround yourself with or uh, use on a regular basis that kind of keeps you thinking on track or gets you to quickly get in that, I don't know, zone to do art. I get a lot of questions, you know, on Instagram and sometimes on the YouTube channel. Uh, people want to know more about me. I'm a very interesting subject. I don't know why. I'm really not that interesting. For me, it's even more important to surround myself with things that I don't know, that make me want to do art because that just keeps me going. So, you know, people want to know a little bit more about me, so I'm going to share with you some of these things. Some of these things have some kind of emotional connection with me, or maybe I just kind of like them, or, or they, they're just, I don't know, easy to draw? I don't know. So let's just get into it, okay? Because right now it's just me standing up here looking like a, well, gorgeous. Okay, the first thing I want to show you guys are my balls. I play with my balls every day. Okay, so these balls. You know, some people have like, I don't know, like oral fixations. They want to like chew gum all the time. I've got more of like a keeping my hands busy fixation, so I play with my balls. Um, I shouldn't keep saying that. These are just magnetic balls, okay? And, you know, you can just sit there and play with it. And it just kind of gets you, I don't know, if, if you're paying attention to them, you might form them into a shape. But more often, I find myself just kind of needing it. it. It just, I don't know, it makes a sound that I like. It, it keeps my hands busy because I've got that hand fixation. Is that what you call it? Sometimes I make a necklace out of it, and it's like a little Mr. T starter set. Here, let me show you. Okay. So this is, this is the trick. You got to make sure it doesn't... Yeah. Yeah, pity the fool. He's on Dancing with the Stars right now. Do you know that? Yeah, he's rocking it. That's right. Oh, I just announced that I watched Dancing with the Stars, didn't I? We do the quick step, the tango, the foxtrot, the samba. We do all kinds of fun stuff. So let's put my balls away because I can play with these all day long. Okay, I got them in there. Isn't that nice? Okay. So what else is going on? Ooh, okay, so I don't have a personal connection to my balls, but I do have a personal connection to this guy. This was a gift that my wife made for me for this Valentine's Day. Now she had made me, uh, she actually crocheted this. Yeah, she's awesome. My wife had made for me last year on June, on June 4th, okay, it was random. On June 4th, she had made for me a little Yoda thing, okay? And it, it was just weird, because June 4th is just a random day, but on that same day, for some reason, and I never do this because I'm super cheap, I had bought her a present. And so I said, so June 4th is going to be a little celebration day. And I was like, and it's very serendipitous. And she's like, how so? I'm like, well, it's halfway in between Star Wars Day, which is what, Ming? May, May the 4th. And 4th of July, which is one of my favorite holidays because my dogs go crazy. Well, I do like cookouts. I like cookouts. And, and, and one of these days, you guys will invite me to one. So June 4th day was our little day for our for just the two of us because it was just so serendipitous that we... I'm going on about this. But anyway, she made this and I keep it on my desk and it's, it's, I call them my mini, my mini muses. And usually it stands up on its own, but on here it won't. It's like, you took me away from my... So yeah, I just, say, trust me, it stands up on its own on my desk at home. And it just reminds me of just, you know, I don't know how awesome my wife is. It just, it makes me feel good and it has sentimental value and it's what's on my desk right now. It wasn't on there a year ago because it's new. These things can switch out. It's not always gonna be the same stuff. You always find something new to inspire you. There are some things that will continue to inspire you, but it's sort of, some of this stuff is sort of like flavor of the day. These pop vinyls, I love keeping these things around because one, they are super easy to draw. So if I want some inspiration in a pinch and these things are around, I just pick one and start drawing them out because you know they're very basic in their shapes. Now this one inspires me Damn it, Will. This is all your fault. And he knows it. So Will got me into Game of Thrones. This is, this is a little Dothraki call. And now I'm addicted to it. And, and I had to wait now because it's, it's not ready for... Anyway, somehow I wound up with like a dozen of these figurines around the office. And they're great. They're easy to sketch. It's something I like, okay? Uh, you know, maybe you don't. Maybe you have something else that you like to sketch that's simple and easy just to do a little exercise. That's the point of this. So keeping these things around, 
are really great because it's a great way for me to just say like, okay, let me get my supplies out and get my hand warmed up and start going for it. And any man that's brave enough to wear eyeshadow is okay with me. Everybody, I'm opening up my can of, my can of worms. I'm opening up to you guys, so don't judge me. This is me, okay? I'm not saying you need this. This is just something that I like, okay? This is, this is a Disney scented candle. This candle, see that, Will? Smells like Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I crap you not. I used to work for Disney uh, when I was in college. I, I was an intern there, and you know I still have some friends that live down there. I love Disney. I love, it's just, it's in my blood. I don't know why, and don't judge me. And they've got all kinds of different scents, and I burn this, and it reminds me of a place that, I don't know, I love. I love from my childhood. I love from my adulthood. <laughs> I still love it. So I burn this candle, and I, I mentioned this in other videos. I like to light a candle while I do art. I'm not joking. It sounds silly, but I really do it. I light the candle. My room smells like musky water and cannonballs. I, it's what it smells like. Well, smell. Olivia, smell my candle. You're on the little boat ride, okay? And you're going through the little canal, and then you go down that little... We're talking about the one at Walt Disney World, okay? Because it's a little different in, at Disneyland. And they're shooting the cannonballs back and forth, and you're in the water. And does that not smell like, like Pirates of the Caribbean? It does. It does. It smells like Johnny Depp. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> this next thing, I don't think that you were ever meant to see, okay? This is going to be a little, a little behind the scenes of, of Jerry's, okay? This is, and I've saved this because it cracked me up so much. All right, this was going to be a, a giveaway that we were going to do, like a premium. Like if, like if people placed an order, you were going to get one of these. And now I think we have other things like lights and pens and stuff. Anyway, it doesn't matter. This is a keychain of what I like to call sunburnt little Jerry. Because it looks like little Jerry with a sunburn. But, and I remember my father was showing me this, like, check out what we're going to do. And he shows me these keychains, and he's, he's so happy. He's like, check it out, isn't that cool? I'm like, he looks a little red. And he's like, no, no, you know, I mean, maybe. I'm like, like he looks like he's got a sunburn. Oh, but you haven't seen the best part. On the back of each of them has a little saying. So I turn it over, and it says, Jerry's love you. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's love you, yeah, long time, long time. So, no, this never got made, but it does remind me, and it is inspirational to me, that subpar work is always accepted at Jerry's Autorama, which is, I guess, why they keep letting me come up here and do things. What's X? Okay, so this is kind of cool. Okay, this might seem like the most self-serving part of this, because I'm going to show you some art supplies now, but I am very serious about this being inspirational, okay? I keep certain things nearby um, and out where I can see them to inspire me to do more art. Now, it goes beyond that, Olivia, so just wait, okay? So this is one of my, this is my set from home. I love this set. This is the set that I use to, to take with me, okay? And it's, I guess for me, I just, it's, it's a metal, it's a metal tin. So, you know, I, I like the weight of it. I like the, the matte finish. I mean, that's just preference to me. And, you know, you can fill these things with any kind of watercolor you want. Now, I'm not joking about this. I follow boards on Instagram where it's people doing art of art supplies. Now, I don't have a weird fetish or anything, okay? I don't want anybody calling me authorities. Like, I follow these boards, like people that paint their half pan set, people that paint their art supplies because it inspires them. And it's really cool because it's super easy to fill in those pans, you know, one for one. Like, okay, here's a little cyan blue, a little cyan blue, and it looks real because it's the same thing. Isn't that cool? I don't know, art supplies inspire me. I, maybe they inspire you just having them around. You know, maybe you just have a favorite brush. I don't know, you know, whatever floats your boat, but this, this, uh, this is a floater for me. Last thing, last thing, because I just got to wrap up the silliness, okay, that has been inspiring me for a couple months now. Now, I actually printed something out because it's actually on my desktop, but uh, this has been my inspiration for the past few months. I cannot wait to meet my firstborn. She's been keeping me going. You know, she's been keeping me motivated. So this has been on my desk, top, but you know, you get it. I think people get that pieces fit together. And it's been inspiring me. When's the due date? Uh, that's actually the best part. She's due June 4th, which we just thought was really special because we had a, last year, no reason to celebrate that day, but we celebrated that day for no reason. I got, you know, and, and, and I get, and yeah. So um, hopefully by June 4th or sooner, or sooner, We'll be celebrating it again, yeah. Yes, yeah, so a Khaleesi, thanks to you. It was going to be a Princess Leia, now it's going to be a Khaleesi. 
And so this is also my, my, my hiatus announcement. So next generation of art supplier is cooking, soon to be baked, done. While I'm figuring that out, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm sure I'll post a photo. Uh, I will also reveal her name on Instagram. The whole idea is find what inspires you. This is just stuff that inspires me. Like I said, it might change out, it might swap. It's very hard to get real estate on my desk. I'm very particular about what I let on my desk because it will affect me. And if Game of Thrones starts bumming me out, this guy's going the way of the dodo bird, okay? You know, this stuff can change and your stuff can change, but it keeps you going. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel like being creative. And I don't know about you, but when I'm being creative, I feel at my best. And I don't know if it's because I am in a better state of mind or because I'm doing the art itself, but I don't, I don't freaking care. I feel good. So I'm going to do it. So I'll be back as soon as I can, as soon as I can. And while you're waiting, um, we're going to have something for you. Uh, we're we're going to do a little summer tester. We are going to do a test pilot of what we're calling the artist problem show. It, th this is artist problems, I guess the video or I don't know, like space balls movie. Uh, this is, this is an artist problem video. But we're trying something a little different format. Wouldn't necessarily replace what we're doing here because this is our personal time, just the eight of us and you know, however many. It's just gonna be something a little different and like I said, this is a pilot. So we're testing it out, it's gonna be rough, but I want your feedback. I wanna see what you like, what you don't like, your suggestions, and it might drive us to do uh, a very different format show that will get more art involved, more technique involved, but still have a lot of fun. That's what I want to do. I want to have fun with art, not make fun of art. I make fun of myself and I have fun with art. So I hope that you will hold on to that inspiration. I hope that you'll hold on to your art and I hope that you'll hold on to me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry, where I will share some photos of my daughter when she arrives and, uh, but not be overly annoying about it. So I want to know what inspires you. You know, I'm coming up here sharing my personal stuff, but I want to get personal with you. I want to know what inspires you personally, because what inspires you personally might inspire somebody else that wasn't inspired by this video. And I want everybody to feel included. And when we start inspiring each other, like in a, in a room and all together, that's called, an, it's a get together of people, but it's important that we're all working it out together, that artist community of inspiration. So share your inspiration with everybody below. That's what we want to know. What inspires you? I'm gonna work this out. Does anybody else want to turn? Oh, excuse me. Double my move goal again. <laughs> At least now it's closer to 11.